What's up you guys? It's not Elise. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Wish haul. If you guys aren't familiar with Wish, it's actually an app that I found out about on Facebook. It's accessible online as well, but I use it on my phone. Most of this stuff, like I ordered before school and it came like in time because I ordered it over the summer. But I ordered a few extra items and I was like, you know what, it'd be really cool if I just did one big haul. I can't be very time specific because the stuff was ordered so spaced out. But typically my items take anywhere from two weeks to a month to get to me. So like spring break is coming up for me. So I'll probably order my shorts and my little crop tops and stuff in January. So that everything will be here by April when my spring break finally does come. But if you guys are interested in seeing the items that I bought, then please stay tuned. So the very first item or items that I'm going to show you guys are actually accessories. The first one of which being on my head, this is a black OVO hat with the um, OVO owl featured on it. And it's kind of metallic gold, but you guys probably can't see it all that good. But this is the first item. I want to say I paid $8 for this hat, but of course I'm going to leave specifics. And I actually had this hanging with this one because there's another hook. And this is the second accessory, another OVO hat. And it just has the six and the um, praying hands on it I don't really like this hat as much as this one because I don't know if you guys can tell but this doesn't really have as much of a hat arch so it doesn't create like that visory hat look that like shield your face it's kind of like a duck bill it's really straight and uh, I didn't like that too much the next accessory is this watch and um, so I actually ordered one for me and one for my mother so I just grabbed mine but the watch looks like this and the time is in Roman numerals but it's very easy to read if you know like, the location of the numbers. My mom said when she was a kid Geneva watches are actually like, really high end and expensive but I'm absolutely sure I paid one dollar for this watch. It's a wonderful watch like very classy and timeless and it just has like this beige strap on it. So that's it for the accessories. Now I'm going to get into the clothing. I'm going to do my best to include a try on. My editing skills are not up to par. But I'm going to do my best to um, feature a try on. I might have to just add the clip and put music over it. But the first thing I got was this kimono. And this is in a small. And uh fairly colorful with the purples and the yellows and stuff very sheer but I thought it was something cute for like going back to school because you know when you go back to school in August it's still pretty hot the clothes aren't really seasonally arranged I just kind of piled them all on top of each other over here so next I have a sweatshirt and then I'll get back into warmer clothes in a second uh, this is like a classic California dream Barbie sweatshirt and it just has the old school like sunset type thing and the old Barbie script. And this was the first thing I ordered from Wish I want to say and I only paid, well not only, I paid $15 for it but nobody else at my school has it so it was worth it. Next thing I got which I'm scared to wear explaining why it still has a tag on it of an unknown store because I got it off of Wish. Wish is a Chinese vendor by the way. So it is this other sweatshirt and it just has Miley Cyrus's face on it eating ice cream. I have some Adidas Superstars that I thought, I, well not thought, I think I can pair really well with this. And it just has the same thing front and back, this being the back. They said this was a medium but it's actually pretty big and um, I don't have any breasts so when I wear it, like you can't really get the full picture because it's kind of rolled up. But you guys will see if I'm able to feature a try on in this video. And then you have these really cool multicolored sleeves. I'm nervous to wear it because it's so different, but I ordered it because I like it. I tried it on and I still like it and it's thick, so I can definitely wear it as a winter thing. So hopefully I just work up the courage to wear it. The next thing that I'm going to feature in this haul is this halter style bralette. I cannot call this a crop top because it's really not that big and it just says I have no tits across it because I have no tits. So I ordered this and this is in a small, yep it's a small, I probably just made the craziest face, I just, I feel it. But 
yeah and it just ties around the neck next thing i got is another halter style bralette that does not need to be tied because it's a full neck um shirt it is in a size small um for the no tip shirt I have to look up pricing. I ordered the Miley Cyrus sweatshirt so long ago that it's probably not my order history. I paid $2 for the no tit shirt and most of the two and one dollar items have dollar shipping. So the more expensive the item, the more the shipping. For people who don't know anything about Wish, that's how it works. Um, this shirt was either a dollar or two dollars. I also got this popsicle shirt which I've worn to school twice this year. But it's finally getting cold so I probably can't wear it anymore. It was one size fits all and the size is not featured inside the shirt. I know for a fact I paid $4 for this shirt and I believe like $2 or $3 for it to ship. But I just thought it was really unique. Once again, no one at my school has it or these hats or anything in this haul for that matter except my best friend who does have this shirt. And she bought me the no tits shirt after I ordered it and mine came first so she's just going to sell the other one. But I thought that was so sweet of her. Um, Go check out her channel by the way, Simply Gorgeous. Her birthday is November 25th. Hopefully I post this before that. But happy early birthday. I love you. You guys should totally go check out her channel. She's coming up on 100 subscribers. Literally one away. And she's doing a giveaway for you guys. So stay tuned for that. And get me up there. And maybe I'll do a giveaway for you guys too. Last clothing item that I purchased on Wish. Is this dress. I actually wore it for homecoming. But this is how the dress looks. And it has the same thing on the bottom. And then there's this little slit in the back and there's the paint. Lastly, I'm going to move into phone cases. This is the Lumi. I have made a video reviewing this case. It is not the real Lumi case, but it's a close second. So I'm going to link that in the description box. Make sure you go check that video out. This case came off of Wish. This one did not. So if you go look at the video or the review, you'll know. But this is the first case I got off of Wish. It's just a thin um, jelly case and it has watermelons all over it. I love things with watermelons and pineapples on it. I paid $1 for this case and uh, it's not protective or anything, of course. But I just thought it was cute. So I got it. The next case I got was this Marlboro 100s case. And uh, it just has pink cigarettes coming out of the top with the Marlboro 100s written on it. This is a jelly case as well, but the cigarettes and the bottom part being so thick really, really protect your phone. Like if it drops here or here, you don't really have to worry about it. Falls flat on, it's probably going to break. But this case is very protective. This one, not so much. I paid $5 for this case plus shipping. Last case, I got is actually a wallet case um, that has pineapples on it. I'm going to open it up for you guys. It looks like this, and then it has pink on the inside and there's two slots for cards in here and a camera cutout and your magnetic flip over piece so that is everything in the wish haul which not a lot not a little um just an introduction to wish for those who don't know anything about it it is legit if you've heard of it before and you're skeptical it's legit never has well, I have one item right now that's pending that hasn't come, but if you like let them know you didn't receive it at all, then they'll give you a full refund, including the shipping. Everything goes back on your card. The only con I can say, sometimes the stuff does not look like what it's supposed to look like, but you have people who've purchased that post pictures of how the item looks on them after they get it. And of course, the amount of time that it, I just hit my camera, the amount of time that it takes to get to you. That's another downfall, but other than that, Wish is lit. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you've ever ordered from Wish, let me know what you ordered in the comments below. Maybe the most expensive item you ever got off of Wish. Did it come? Was it like it was supposed to be? And stay tuned and subscribe to my channel for more content. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.